Welcome to TechPax, your partner in advanced research and development. In this video, we will be presenting the details about one of the most demanding research projects titled a CNN and FAN-based approach for heart disease detection. This research project can be extended further to publish a research paper in a reputed journal or used for your PhD or MTech thesis. So, if you are a researcher, PhD, or MTech research scholar working on a similar research project and need expert guidance to handle the complexities of research in this field, you're in the right place. Watch this video till the end to gain valuable insights into the project's objectives, methodology, and results. We'll also provide a demo of the code in action, showcasing its key features and functionalities. So, let's begin. Our professional researcher will now take the lead and guide you through the details. Here we go. Hello friends, welcome to TechPacks Research and Innovation Services. Today I'm here to present you one of the uh, work that we have done in the medical domain by using the artificial intelligence. So this is related to the uh, signal processing also. So let's talk about the video. So before going to the video, let's talk about that what we will cover into this video. In this video, we will initially talk about whatever the application we have designed for by using the artificial intelligence uh, for signal handling like ECG. Uh, in which application areas it can be implemented then we will talk about what exactly the code we have designed which files you need to execute and what are the software requirements to execute the code then we will discuss about the current systems those are currently working into the same domain and what exactly they are doing what problems we have identified in the current systems and how proposed system is able to handle that finally we will cover the experimental outcomes and the results and also show the comparison that how our proposed system is better in comparison to the other state of art methods so let's talk about the application areas the application area that we are covering uh, by using this is related to the biomedical applications where the ai is playing an important role in detecting the uh, health of the patient so the system is related to the medical healthcare systems it shows the role of the ai in the healthcare and for many of the biomedical applications for identifying uh, the uh, disease in the patient on time so that the doctors can take the appropriate step and to automate the process of detection it is done under this category so let's talk about the code we will provide you the folder this under which under the code folder we do have all the files the whole code is written in the MATLAB, so you must have the MATLAB software with you. So the MATLAB version that I am using is R2019A. So you can use 2018 or 2019 or above, but make sure the MATLAB version that you are using must be of a full version, not the trial one. So in order to run the code, you just need to uh, copy the path of the code where the whole code and the database is being saved and then go to the MATLAB and you just need to paste it here. When you will paste Control V, press Enter, you can see it can directly redirect to the main code. So here main code is the file that you need to execute, rest all are the files, those function files, those are called in the main file. Now in order to run this code, you just need to click on the run button and it start executing. So here in the editor section, there is a run button and you just need to click on the run. So I'm just copying it because I need to discuss it later on. So I'm just going to click on the run button. So you can see it start processing the code. These are the ECG signals that it is reading from the database and all. So in the meantime, it is running. Let's talk about the uh, problem and the current systems. So the base paper that we have considered for the proposed system is like ECG, uh, automatic ECG diagnosis using the convolutional neural network, convolutional neural network, which is also known as CNN. So they have implemented the uh, ECG signal and uh, passing the whole signal directly to the CNN. And on that behalf, they are evaluating that of what state uh, it is. So the crucial for this uh, particular model was that they were using that CNN. CNN model is specifically designed for the image related data, not for the signal one, one of the issue that we identified. Secondly, they are passing the signal directly instead uh, working with the, uh, the information that is under it because working with the dll sorry deep learning is uh, only then effective when you have only refined data precise data where the information cannot be easily extracted but the literature shows in such domains machine learning is very much beneficial only the challenge with the machine learning was uh, they were not able to handle the larger data set their deep learning can be efficiently uh, processed so we can't uh, 
neglect the power of the machine learning so here what we are doing because the data set on which they were working uh, that was not uh, uh, the bigger one they have used the 47 subjects data and uh, giving us the outcomes for the different uh, so let's talk about the data set before that let's talk about what we have done in our the proposed system we have changed the CNN system and uh, uh, in combination with the CNN we are using the machine learning's feed forward neural network. So we are combining the power of machine learning and the deep learning in order to identify uh, the ECG diagnosis so that uh, we can identify which class of the person or the patient is suffering from which class whether it is normal or what. So there are total of the three classes. One is the normal class, another one artery uh, premature beat and third one is one more so they have used only for the two classes but we have worked for all the three classes so let's talk about the data set the data set they were using is uh, the MIT BIH uh, database which can be uh, taken from the physionet or kaigal.com so this is the link that you can use to get the database so you can directly download it from here there are certain uh, options to download it so you can download it in a zip file or you can directly copy one individual file in the dat files so we were using the dat files with us so this data set is uh, downloaded and saved in the folder under which the whole code is there here you can see all the files from the database are saved here so we are using this one so in the proposed work what we have done uh, the simulation is completed let's talk about what we have done in the initial stage the database is being processed and we do have the three categories of uh, uh, labels those were like uh, normal artery premature beat and premature ventricular contraction so uh, let's make the comment here also so that uh, later on it can easily be seen and can be known so I just made the comments so these are the three categories labels of the data set so initially we are uh, reading the data we are not passing it directly to the CNN we are doing some pre-processing phases because the signal that is captured from the device they might have some uh, issues with them some noise with them so we are pre-processing it so initially whatever the signal we do have we are normalizing it after normalizing uh, we are applying the filtration process under which we are applying the median filtration for multiple times uh, after applying the windows based process then uh, we are calculating the features in terms of the like mean variance entropy then we are detecting uh, R to R signal uh, from the ECG because ECG is having the information like ECG signal so you can see the ECG signal is having the information of PQRS and R to R variation shows us more information that uh, what is the variation among and whether the person is uh, uh, affected from any of the heart issues or not. So R to R detection is mandatory. So after that we are calculating few more like number of R peaks in that sample, mean of the heart rate, standard deviation, heart rate, standard deviation and the frequency coefficients. We are combining all the features and put it into the single uh, fold, a uh, single variable. Why we are doing this because this information can assist the models to get uh, more precise information instead of processing the whole information and also as we are using the machine learning so it will be beneficial for that also. Then we have uh, created that data set and passed it to the two models. One of the model is the CNN model that we have designed. Second model is the uh, so we are training the model by using the CNN and getting the predicted outcome from them. Second option uh, we are using the feed forward neural network in uh, that is the type of the uh, ANN artificial neural network and machine learning. So we are training it and after training we are getting the better uh, the final outcomes. Then we are combining the outcomes of the CNN and the uh, feed forward by the weight based in which the weightage uh, 0.8 weightage is given to the deep learning and 0.2 weightage is given to the feed forward neural network. Why? Because deep learning is obviously more capable of uh, training the patterns but machine learning is also good. So we are combining the power of both and what we realized the outcomes that we have analyzed in the terms of the accuracy TPR true positive rate true negative rate, false positive rate, false negative rate and F1 score. So all these parameters has been calculated because we need to compare it with the base paper. They have evaluated the same, same parameters here you can see. So let's see what we got and uh, what are the results. So the results that we got are like this. This is the original signal. This is uh, the normalized signal. So you can see the actual signal is normalized within a range of 0 to 1. Then we have calculated the features like baseline uh, signal from that. Uh, this is the coefficients that we have calculated from the DWT and these are the uh, detailed information that we have extracted from it. Then 
these are the performance parameter of accuracy tpr tnr fpr fdr and f1 score of the proposed method only this is the confusion matrix for the three classes this uh, the percentage of the parameter in terms of the percentage where we are doing the comparison with the uh, base model of the cnn which is the base papers model then we have compared uh, step by step with the accuracy tpr fpr and all the parameters so you can see in any every scenario our proposed method is uh, proving its effectiveness in comparison to the traditional method and shows the better results here the tabular form of the parameters is also shown for the base paper cnn and the proposed uh, cnn feed forward neural network so this gives us the better outcomes uh, if uh, it will be uh, rerun again and again you can see uh, even more accuracy can be achieved and uh, more uh, outcomes can be achieved in the same scenario so these are the real term scenarios where you just need to give directly the ecg signal to the machine uh, the trained model will be able to uh, detect that whether the person is normal it is having the premature beat or the ventricular contractions so if you will know it on time you can easily save the person or the patient can save himself herself uh, by taking the appropriate medicines or the uh, help from the doctor so real time scenarios and further modifications are possible uh, the researchers or the industry people can contact us directly to get the information thank you thanks for, thank you thanks for thank you for watching this video we hope you found it informative and engaging for more information about this research project and to get our consultancy services click the link in the description below at TechPax, we offer comprehensive support for researchers, PhD, and MTech students in the fields of engineering and ICT. Our services include Selection of research topic Helping you choose the right topic tailored to your interests and the latest trends. Synopsis preparation Crafting a clear and concise synopsis with well-defined objectives. Coding assistance Providing expert help with writing and optimizing code in various tools and platforms. Research paper writing, assisting in drafting and editing research papers to meet the highest academic standards. Dissertation writing, offering complete support for your dissertation, ensuring consistency and quality. Plagiarism check and removal, ensuring your work is original and free from plagiarism with advanced detection tools. We also offer customization services to meet your specific project needs. Whether you require a modification of an existing project or a completely new application, our team of experts is here to help. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on cutting-edge research projects and expert advice. Thank you for choosing TechPacks. We look forward to collaborating with you on your research journey.